Hi, welcome to Psych 3390, Abnormal Psychology. This is a really, really interesting, fun, um, insightful class, and I'm really, really glad you're here. Uh, for those who don't know me, um, I am Dr. Erica Soto. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. I have a doctorate in clinical psychology and a people personnel servicing credential in school counseling. I love this work. I love this topic. I love clinical psychology. Um, and I, I hope you do too. If you're taking this class, then that tells me that you're a psych major or something similar. And I think that you will really be interested in what we cover in this class. Uh, we are going to cover the various mental health diagnoses. Uh, we are going to talk about psychopathology, which just basically means abnormal behavior. Um, and also a little bit, we'll touch a little bit on treatment as well. So I don't want to take too much of your time. I, uh, I know that you're busy, you're busy, busy college students and, uh, you're more than capable of, you know, reading the syllabus on your own, but I do just kind of want to highlight a few main points um, and just kind of go over the, the class structure. So for those who have had me before, um, our Canvas course, I have a cat who, if I'm doing anything that is not giving attention to him, um, he will make himself known. So this is my little guy, CeeLo. So just don't mind him. Um and uh, that's the benefits when you have days where you get to work from home. He's my little coworker. Um, so I'm just going to go over um, the Canvas layout just to kind of uh, clarify a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And um, this is what you'll see. Mine's going to look a little bit different because I'm on the instructor mode. Uh, yours will be the student mode, but uh, all the material, all the content's the same. So you have your intro page and then you have the syllabus right here. Um, there's its own tab. And I really recommend that you download this, you print it or you store it in a file, whatever works for you, whatever your process is, um, because really everything that you need about the class is in the syllabus. Most of your questions should be answered in there. Um, so if you have a question, I can almost guarantee it's in the syllabus, but that does not mean you can't reach out to me as well. Uh, but, um, if there's something not clarified, then, um, you, um, can certainly reach out to me and then the modules. So this is where you're going to pretty much live. Uh, this is where you will do all of your assignments each week. Um, and most of them are going to look the same. So I'll go just through one example. So you only have to focus on one, one module a week. Um, so for example, this module starts Monday, August 28th, and everything's due by 1159 on September 1st. Okay. And that's the same for all of the modules in this class. It, there's never going to be a different due date or anything like that. You just follow follow the modules week by week. Um, I put the dates to hopefully make it more convenient for you. So you click them in and then you, um, there, I have a, like a little agenda for you and then everything that you need will be in this page. So for example, you're always going to typically read a chapter. So chapter one, um, there's a complimentary PowerPoint that just kind of highlights the, the key points that I want you to really hone in on and, and know and understand there's my lecture that you can um, that you can listen to just in the page, or um, you can probably download it too. And then um, I don't have it in here at the time of this recording because they're getting captioned right now. But there's also the option to listen to um, the video with closed captioning if you're someone who prefers that or or needs that. So there's that option too. There's typically a complimentary video that just kind of enhances the learning of that week. I try to make them as interesting as possible. And then um, a discussion board. So this is a really, really large class. So you won't have any big papers, um, but you will uh, do discussions um, almost every week to collaborate with other classmates and um, just reflect on that week's reading. Um, so keep in mind that you have your discussion boards have to be a minimum of seven sentences and um, you have to respond to two classmates with a minimum of five sentences in length. 
Um, and then once you're done, you can post it here. I have a link each week where you go, you post your reply, you'll see your other classmates um, discussion boards and you could respond to at least two. Um, and remember your responses have to be beyond great post, beyond uh, you did a good job. Really want you to think about what the person's saying, um, uh, highlight what you liked about their post, if you have questions, things like that. Um, and then going back to the modules. So um, the, like I said, each week will look pretty similar to week one. You have two midterms in this class. Um, so the midterms, um, they're their own module. So you really only need to worry about the tests that week. Uh, you don't have to do anything else other than take your, your test. Uh, you can take it any point from that Monday to Friday that it's open. So I open the exam, for example, on the first one, it'll be open Monday, September 25th at 8 a.m. And it'll close, um, it'll close Friday, September 29th at 11.59 p.m. After that, it's locked. So I give you a lot of time to decide when you are ready to take it, but you can't keep coming back and taking it. You have to just keep in mind, you have to take it in one sitting. You can't leave and then return to it. So when you decide what time you're going to take, if it's Tuesday at 10 a.m., great, fine. Um, just make sure you can commit to that time frame because you can't go back. It'll lock out. Um, and because you have the full week to do like assignments, um, I typically don't accept late work unless of course it's, um, you know, a crisis or an emergency, but communication is my number one, um, ask of you. Um, not only is it a pleasure to hear from you, but if there's something going on, just tell me, I, I completely understand that you have life outside of abnormal psychology and things come up, things happen. Um, and I, I try my best to be accommodating um, as best as I can. So just, just keep in contact with me. Um, and so that's really what the modules look like. Um, the other thing I need to highlight is that um, before you get started on anything, I recommend you do, you download the lockdown browser. So you have here, um, first week getting started lockdown browser is just, uh, you've probably used it, um, in some of your courses. It's a pretty typical, um, system that we use just to, um, add an additional layer of, um, monitoring for like exams and things. So it's completely trustworthy. It won't mess up your computer or anything. It's really, really easy. Um, and for, you know, the tests, you will have a webcam requirement. Um, and though something I need to highlight is that the exams so are open book. So, uh, you can use your book, you can use your notes. Um, don't freak out that you're looking at notes and, and books during your test. You're not going to get in trouble for that. What it will do is it'll prompt you to show, say you have a physical book. It'll prompt you to show what you're looking at and it'll prompt you to show your notes and then you'll get cleared for that. Um, if you have like an electronic copy of the book, perfectly fine. Um, it can monitor what tabs you're looking at. Um, so if it's just the book, then that's perfectly fine. If it's just your notes, it's perfectly fine. Um, so I would just download this. That way you're not, um, uh, you're not like trying to download it and then it's not working and you have to take this test. Um, most students don't have any problems with it, but you know, you never know. So just do that right away. Um, and then announcements, I will make announcements here and there. Um, they will have their own tab, but um, you don't really have to use it because the most current ones will show up on your homepage. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Um, and the other thing I ask is that you, this is also noted in the syllabus, but um, if you work ahead in the class, that's okay. Uh, you know, that's the beauty of an asynchronous class is that you could um, there's deadlines, but you can also kind of work more towards, you know, on a pace that works for you. That's why I like to have things open from Monday to Friday. Um, but I ask that you don't submit discussion boards early until the week it's due. Um, just because I want everything to kind of stay on track and, you know, their design that you're reading the chapters and doing everything. And then reflecting using your discussion boards. Um, if you work ahead, that's okay. Just save it and then post it that Monday that it's, it's open and it's, um, the week that everyone else is on. 
Um, other than that, I think that's it. I get grades in pretty quickly. I, I hate to, to wait, keep you guys hanging. Um, I know I like to, I, as a student, I liked to look at my grades and I hated waiting. It gave me anxiety and I just wanted to know exactly where I was at in the course. So, um, I tried to do that as best as I can. Like I said, this is a really big class. Um, so it's a little bit different than your smaller classes. I think we have almost a hundred students. Um, but the more the better because asynchronous classes are really great for that. This class is size. Um, you know, these, these classes work. I'm a huge fan of online classes. Um, and though I know that there's sometimes like a missing piece that it feels like, and I, I, I try my best to, um, fill that just with communication with you through the semester and, um, but, but please communicate with me too. I, my favorite thing to do is meet with students and, um, of course, for questions and things about the material, but also if, you know, you're thinking about grad school or I love to hear your stories and your journey. So please don't be a stranger. Um, my, uh, office hours are on zoom for this class because it's online, um, uh, by appointment only. So, uh, email me if you want to meet and we will find a time that works for both of us. Okay. Uh, but I'm really, really looking forward to a great semester. Fall semester is my favorite because there's just there's a lot of breaks and there's a lot of holidays and it's just the weather's changing. Um, and so it's going to be a great semester. And um, just I, I don't want you to feel alone in this class because there's a lot of topics that might hit home for you or maybe you have your own personal experiences with mental health or you love someone who's had their own personal experiences with mental health. Um, I mean, we all have mental health, but I guess what I'm talking about is a diagnosis. Um, and so if you're triggered or if something isn't feeling right, um, or it's just really tough that week, the material that you're reading, at least reach out to your support system. I would say, please reach out to me. I would love to connect, but, um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, then just make sure you're taking care of yourself. Okay. Um, I I'm here though, if there is something that you want to talk about, or there is something that's harder to listen to. Um, I try to put trigger warnings on them, more sensitive topics. Um, but most of us are here because we have personal experiences with mental health challenges. Um, so I get it. I'm, um, I'm a therapist. I, I also see, um, see clients. I, my, I specialize in working with kids, teens, and young adults. Um, and I, I just, I love this work and I'm really, really passionate about it. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let you go, um, get on with your, your day. Uh, but I'm wishing you a great semester and I really hope to connect with you.